Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana, or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So, I want to do a quick energetic check-in. Guys, y'all see the clips in my hair? It's because I'm trying to get ready because I know we got a date later on at 8 o'clock. I hope to see you guys there. Um, let's just go with the Cosmic Insights. Get the... Um, yeah, let's do these. I haven't, I, pulled, I haven't pulled my other cards up here. I'm super excited. I was up all night. Um, so... Write in the subscribers down because every generator that I found, it would not, I couldn't figure out a way to get my subscribers that aren't publicly sus subscribed, but yet are active on the page. I couldn't get figure out a way to get you grouped in to the automatic generator. So I was up all night long <laughs> and then me and my daughter folded it this morning. So if you've commented on the videos, if you're publicly subscribed, you are entered into the bucket, the Easter egg bucket. <laughs> All right, Spirit, let's see. This is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any of your ninth house placements. Spirit, what is the overall energy of the day? Thank you. The law of correspondence. See life as the ultimate mirror guiding you to the highest version of yourself. And the law of neutrality. Practice non-reaction and stay in equanimity equanimity um so what i'm getting off of this immediately is that when situations arise in your life instead of allowing that instead of giving your power away to that situation that person or that thing it's it's like okay the divine brought this to my doorstep for a reason <laughs> i don't I, bring it to your doorstep that come from uh, my family church uh, the pastor so he always says uh, he just crossed my mind anyways um, and so I feel like that there may be some things some situations on display and it's it's situations that really you can fall into that victim mentality and give it a reaction you know what I'm saying a, a victim reaction or you can look at it take the power away from it and say oh this is a gift from the divine I shall receive it and you take that gift and then you transmute that energy and then you allow your healed version to respond to it I can say this but this message is definitely probably for me because baby your girl just cussed some family out yesterday on my daddy's in regards to my daddy so it's not always easy and I'm not I'm, I'm not here to say that you know, there's not a magic stick to wave and, and say that, oh, I'm not going to respond to um, somebody, whatever, get your, your pickles going or whatever the case. But it is about slowly but surely stepping into it. Like even after the debacle that I had with my family, or it wasn't my family, it was one of my daddy's brothers. Um, once I had a debacle with him, you know what I'm saying? It was one of those, okay, God, I am out of alignment. I am outside of myself. I am, I have anger inside of me. And I don't know how to transmute this right now. And I need help. And the prayers won't always come. Uh, the answers won't always come so quickly. But in my case last night, it came immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like it literally, I said the prayer and I have this really good habit of making sure that I pray with my children um, so that they realize that they can, that it's medicine and that it works. And, and literally less than like, I would say five minutes later, the something happened that was able to transmute that that I was able to transmute that energetic space that I was in okay so it does it does it does help and it does work you just have to be patient with yourself and with your divine all right spirit what is the universal uh, what is the major arcana what are you orchestrating through this event magician it's to get you to tap in to your full potential it's to get you to see that you've been playing too small and because you've been playing small you've been unable to manifest what it is that you truly desire and what it is that you're truly worthy of as well yeah with the death card this particular death card at the bottom of the deck this is saying like and it's so it's it's the universe that the death card is here when i was just talking about i'll take that that gift from you because no matter how it's presented it is a gift from the divine i will take it and i will transmute it into what the universe wants me to gain from this the what, what you're delivering to me is just the ingredient it is my job to transmute it into what the universe its intentions okay does that make sense i hope it makes sense i hope i'm not losing you 
All right, spirit. So show me the archetype that Sagittarius is currently standing in now. As above, so below. As within, so without. Okay. What? Well, I'm gonna let me get one more spirit. Thank you. Okay. So I've got the Queen of Swords. So mm, I definitely, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. I do feel like that there's going to be an encounter with an actual person today. And this interaction with this person, this could be a complete stranger. It does not have to be someone you know. but Or it could be someone that admires you. With the Knight of Cups here, I feel like that this could be someone that admires you. Or you could be admiring somebody and kind of, you know, um, you think you've got it all planned out. Clear thinking. I've got a, a good perception. I didn't cut through the smoke. Now it's time for me to actually step out there and go tell somebody that I admire them. Or approach somebody. Or somebody is approaching you that admires you. And it's like, it's it's like you just start having diarrhea of the mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's like, instead of saying, hi, how are you? You'd be like, oh, how? you know, I don't know. Even I don't even know how to say it. But it's just like, instead of the whole planned conversation going, it's like you just start regurgitating any and everything, things that you knew you shouldn't say. And so that's the energy that I'm feeling. And I feel like that whatever this situation is, I do feel like that it's going to trigger you. And Spirit is saying, like, if this is someone else coming to you, then this is Spirit saying, you know, like, don't go so harsh on them. You know what I'm saying? Don't get, don't get distracted by, um, someone's lack of maturity we do have two nights here or don't let your lack of maturity distract you from your goals and where it is that you're trying to head leave that there let's see let's get the five cards i don't want to make this too long uh because I'm, I'm really trying to build up the i was started to do this live just to test the waters but i was like nah i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna do this do this I can't wait to see y'all with 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. We're giving these three beautiful decks away as well as this phenomenal book. Like, phenomenal. A friend of mine introduced me to this book and it has come in clutch so many times. I pack that thing around with me and it is just beautiful. It's one of those books where you can just randomly flip it open and know that there's going to be some medicine on that page. It's, that, it's, it's powerful. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius in this energetic check-in? Oh, Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity has been spoken up until this already in this reading. And this reading is going to offer someone truth and clarity as it pertains to seizing an opportunity. There's an opportunity that you can... Um, you can get caught up in the way that either the opportunity is presented to you. You can get caught up in the fact that, yeah, but I, this is an opportunity, but I wanted this opportunity. Yeah, mommy, that is a sucker, but I wanted the candy bar. It's one of those. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. The challenge, the five of cups. So there, it, it's going to require Sagittarius to really um, find the silver lining. You know what I'm saying? And not get stuck in that. Focusing on what you've lost to the point that you don't realize what is being what's on offer to you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just a, just an example. Um, you know, spirit is telling me not to give you an example because you already know what I'm talking about. So, what's not being seen is the the Ace of Wands, while two Aces in one spread, but they're both split up by the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups, and both of, I mean the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, and the both of these cups focus on the spilt Three of Cups, or the Three of Cups that didn't turn out the way you expected it to. So, brand new opportunities, truth and clarity is being split up by this. So, this has to be addressed. There has to be some type of, I don't know, maybe an apology, um, acceptance of an apology. No matter, no matter how this person delivers that apology, 
right? Because it is the apology in and of itself is the gift from the divine. It's up to you to transmute it and make it what you need it to be. So those, there is a need to, 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 to make peace with the past. Surrender what it is that you're holding on to from the past because what you're not seeing is there is some type of breakthrough opportunity coming through for you. A spark of creativity. Something like that. But whatever this is, you can't see it because this it's, it's blocked out by this. Okay, so all of this water is putting out the flame to this. So what is the advice from the universe? The five of pentacles. Um, I'm really going to say there's a need to shift one's mindset. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, here's the thing. I don't care. Not because I don't love you, but I don't care if you have ten dollars in the bank account and you have a bill that is twenty five dollars and they won't take a payment arrangement there is nothing like the power of the words that we speak and depending on who we speak those words to divine universe i am down bad i need your assistance i got ten dollars i'm short fifteen dollars on my bill, I mean, my baby's gonna be out of electricity. And if, if 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 there was no way to figure this out, we would be out of electricity. But I know that the universe is the wave maker. I just made a post. Everybody puts that nine to five over spending time with their family. At the end of the day, the only provider that you should be focused on is the divine. Because as long as you are in alignment with the divine, the divine will provide. The divine will provide and I can testify and get the time today, but I can testify to that. Okay, so it's, it's a matter of speaking and appreciating and being grateful for what it is that you do have so that when so that, you know, getting caught into the, oh, I don't have this or this didn't go my way by doing so. You're not even seeing that what you do have is a key to unlock some shit. What you do have are the resources to unlock some things because you are the magician. And that's why everything that is happening right now is happening is so that you can see that you are just a, a belief away from manifesting whatever it is that you need. But it does require belief in yourself and in the divine. Yeah. <laughs> this could be, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. And because of that, I'm going to get one of these. This could be someone like, because I've got at the bottom of the deck, I got the two of cups, the eight of wands and the queen of swords and the high priestess. I do feel like that you're going to be receiving some communication today that is, it's like it's, mm, somebody fails miserably at trying to say something or trying to make an apology or trying to right or wrong or something like that. They fail miserably. But it's like don't focus on the don't focus on the presentation. Get the message. That's what I that's my motto. Cause I'm horrible with words. I sometimes suck at my delivery. But my message is always with pure love and intent. Pure love and good intention. So I be telling people all the time. Y'all get so caught up on the way my face look or the way that my words sound that y'all not y'all missing the message. And this is one of those you just gotta get the message, baby. You do. Cause it's not coming from them. You know what I mean? Well, it's coming from them, but it's your gift from the divine. So don't block out on your blessing because somebody, um, I don't know. I would just heard comes off a little like they're I knew this had everything to do with love because their apology is kind of a little bit dominant or whatever the case. Just because you accept an apology don't mean you got to go back to them, right? We got love spell and vacation. I'm going to tell you right now, Sag, I don't know what this situation is for you, but somebody is coming back into your, somebody's coming to offer you an apology. I do. There's going to be some clarity some clarity spilled, spilled on you. You know what I'm saying? And um, there's a, a potential that you can get distracted here. Don't allow. Don't fall into this person's um, sweet nothings. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused on the facts of the situation without being too harsh. And without too much crying over the spilt milk. But um, 
I'm, I'm feeling like for some, and it's been coming up quite a bit. For some of you all, it's like, I don't know, this person is going to know that, I don't know, this person is going to know that you've been wanting to do some type of traveling or something like that. And it's like they might, they going to try to offer you a trip or something. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to try to go with you. So I'm not going to say it's going to be like a date or anything like that. But I do feel like that this person is like going to try to offer you some resources like go pamper yourself, go do your nails. Like, I don't know, like whatever it is that makes you feel good. I feel like that that's the way this person is going to try to apologize. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. I told my children I was going to do a 10 minute reading and here we are at 15. Ooh, there is a need to, to set sacred, like there is a need to set some boundaries and then make, look at the boundaries that you do have up and make sure that they're healthy boundaries and not, un, and, and you know, not boundaries keeping the good out. Because I do see small steps, big accomplishments. I, that's one of my favorite cards in this book. I mean, in this deck. And then we have nurture the shadow. So there's something that you're keeping hidden. Like there's this five of pentacles. It's, it's like... Whatever this lack mentality stems from, whether this is abandonment, whether this is, you know what I'm saying, that attitude of, um, like I was watching this uh, video today, a little short on YouTube, where a guy was asking for some gas. And there was a lot of women that turned him away. And one lady was watching him get turned down. And she said, I don't have much, but here, mijo, if you gave me $5, he handed her a stack. And then he was like, you know what? Come bring her another stack. And then women, that was nasty to him. That was nasty to him. And God don't like that. And they was looking like, it was like instant regret. Instant regret. And so it's like, make sure that you're not letting this, oh, I got to work my ass off for this. I'm not giving you this. So you can't have this. So you can't come back after all the work I done done since you left me. I Simmer down. Simmer down realize the law of correspondence look that law up do your research on the law of correspondence and it says see life as the ultimate mirror guiding you to the highest version of yourself so you know what i'm saying just take that it would as it resonates and just know god the divine is not expecting you to to do a whole 180 overnight no 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 but he the divine is expecting you to take small steps towards a bigger goal okay all right sag i pray this message offered you some guidance i sure do love you if this message resonated don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below and i can't wait for a date later on see you guys later